हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू थ्री डी ओलम्पिया प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड हिट द लाइक बटन टेम्पो प्रो हैज बिन कंप्लीटेड एंड इकम विलियम डोमिनेटेड दिस शो यू कैन सी इन दिस पिक्चर एंड वीडियो ही रिसीव इस अवार्ड एंड ही वाज वेरी प्लीज यू कैन सी हैप्पीनेस ऑन हिज फेस इकम विलियम आल्सो प्लेड इन ओलम्पिया इन 2021 एंड ही वाज प्लेस्ड at ninth number so again he participated in tampa pro and he proven himself he has a great man so let us discuss first on this video first of all i will talk about kamal el gargni you can see he is very mature he has a massive muscle he you can see muscle maturity you can see on, on his body but on the other hand you can see uh, there is another guy is quantan ira quantan ira is very big guy he has a massive muscle and uh, I think he should be win in this show you can see conditioning as well as size is very massive as compared to Ekam Williams so on the other hand but if we talk about conditioning then you can say Kamal Argani was very impressive and he should be win in this show but unfortunately he placed at second and Quentin Ira second and third you can see him in this picture double biceps you can see quantan ira's back is very wide very thick and very separation and on the other hand kamal el gargani back is very you can say condition popped and matured you can see every muscle is popping and fiber you can see in kamal el gargani back but unfortunately he did not win the show he already qualified in 212 olympia and he was a top 3 competitor in last 212 mr olympia and on the other hand i think quantan ira he can dominate in next show he has a massive muscle body and he can surprise and he can be dangerous for other bodybuilder and athletes so he will be a very dominated and very difficult guy in future for other competitor so let's talk about a ekam million ekam million condition was not good as compared to quantan ira so but uh, unfortunately i do not think the just see this thing they just see lots of other things uh, like you can see separation also is good in container legs and if we individually talk about kamal argargni kamal argargni you can say is very matured guy he has a 51 at this age and he has a very mature muscle condition was very good he a little guy but you can see condition is very good he also belong into libya and uh, he one time champion in 212 and last year he was stand out at three position in olympia in 212 region so he also said he will also participate in 212 and if he retired he will also participate in 50 plus master class so let's see how he will play in olympia and how he will came in this condition if he will came in this condition can be dangerous for other like shankar leda and derek lens for so here's another picture of kamal argargni kamal argargni you can see was very impressive i was very impressed from his body and condition so here was the results of open Furthermore if we talk about in men physique Daniel Emmons dominated this show and Andre Ferguson was lost this show Andre Ferguson was very impressive and we tied but unfortunately Daniel came more condition from Andre and you can see Andre body is very good and matured you can say muscle maturity is also see in Andre Ferguson but on the other hand you can say in this picture Daniel obliques and mid section was very tight but you can see his muscle is not mature as compared to Andre Ferguson you can see in this video uh, you can see clearly Andre muscle is very mature his upper body is very wide and very thick as compared to Daniel but on the other hand there is a something different in Daniel body then judges see something different and they prefer Daniel on Andre and Daniel won the show and he has been qualified for Mr. Olympia in men's physique In 2022 Tampa Pro Men's Classic Physique here's a Karish Opara won the show Karish Opara has been qualified for Mr Olympia in Men's Classic Physique he was very impressive he was very impressive and massive body and you can see winning movement of Karish Opara Karish Opara also participated in 2021 Mr Olympia Men's Classic Physique and he was very dominated uh, unfortunately he did not got top 10 position but 
he got in top 20 now let's see how will we perform in mr olympia 2022 in men's classic physique so he has very impressive body phenomenal body you can say his size is not as compared to other bodybuilder at all and but he can be challenging for other if he improve more and if he put more muscle mass on his body then you can say it can be dangerous for other athletes you can say separation in his legs his mid and his back which will take fiber every everywhere on his body separation is very good as compared to other bodybuilder so why judges prefer Karajo Para and he has been won this show you can see separation on his back as well as his every part is separated and you can see fiber in his body overall and his legs is very impressive as well as his arms and his posing style is different and unique you can say this is a phenomenal guy and he can be challenged for other but in next year if he put some muscle mass on his body if he will come in this muscle mass in uh, Olympia then you can say there's a number of other bodybuilder they have a very impressive body so there are the results of men's classic physique please subscribe my channel and hit the like button for further video lastly i will talk about 2022 tampa pro men's 212 division is a keon pearson dominated this show a keon pearson was very impressive you can see vacuum as well as its legs its legs on the other hand kneet was very conditioned i was very impressed from his body you can see separation on his leg and as well as his upper body lower body all over is very good but on the other hand keon Lats is very wide and his waist is very small as compared to Kneeth. Kneeth already win to 12 in Tampa Pro in 2021 but unfortunately in 2022 he did not win Tampa Pro and he did not qualify for Mr. Olympia. On the other hand Keon has been qualified for Mr. Olympia in 212 division and let's see how he will perform in Mr. Olympia because there are a number of other dangerous athletes already exist in 212 division so if we talk about in this pose you can see his uh, separation in Kenneth body in back but unfortunately if we see in the lower legs of Keon he is not separation you can see but on the other hand Kenneth's separation was very good as compared to Keon so I don't think what are things you just see in Keon body so let me know your thought in comment and what you see and what you think think about these two guys thanks for watching my video and subscribe my channel